Welcome back. You've tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso only on SABC3. Of course, you tune into just the right place to get your dose of feel good this morning. Now, today is World Sight Day. It is an annual day of awareness held on the second Thursday of October to focus global attention on blindness and also vision impairment. Today, we meet a very inspirational man, global adventurer, motivational speaker, corporate entertainer, and lover of life. Blind athlete Hein Wagner is definitely living proof that despite the challenges that come our way, anything is possible. He does not allow his blindness to stand in the way of his dreams, and people often refer to him as a blind man with exceptional vision. Although born blind, Hein Wagner has achieved more than most sighted people could ever dream, both personally and professionally. He shared his zest for life as a motivational speaker and considers himself a global adventurer. My love for adventure started at a very young age. I, uh, I climbed Table Mountain six times from different angles by the age of 16 because I wanted to get an idea of what the sight are all about, this picture-perfect postcard view. And in doing so, I actually fell in love with nature and that led me to do all sorts of extreme adventure. I think my, my biggest achievement to date was to unconditionally accept my blindness. When I, when I did that, it actually opened my mind and my whole being to so many opportunities. But I must be honest, uh, if I look at Iron Man, I've done the Broken the World Blind Land Speed record, but one that certainly stands out, or two would be the Apso Cape Epic, uh, the grueling mountain bike race over eight days, 800 kilometers, and earlier this year, I completed the Antarctica Marathon which was an amazing, amazing, amazing experience. In wanting to share some of the advantages his life afforded him, Heinz set out to find a way to help other disabled individuals. And so the Vision Trust was born in 2007, and Heinz began to break down social barriers. I started the Vision Trust back in 2008, and our main aim is to make the world, as we know it, a more accessible place for persons living with disabilities. We try to make technologies available to students and individuals that cannot afford it. If I say technologies, uh, for me to convert an ordinary laptop computer so that a blind person can use it, text-to-speech uh, software, screen reading software is between 10 and 15,000 Rand. And for that very reason, I'm tackling all these adventures to raise funds towards uh, the foundation so that we can help blind people that are less fortunate than I am. Hein may be an adventurer, but he still needs a little help from friends like Alvin de Kok during his amazing journeys and feats. The first couple of events was quite daunting because he only summoned me like a week before the first event. So the first one was quite difficult getting used to swimming with this guy on your back and obviously the tandem wasn't a problem, running wasn't a problem. So that we did quite nicely and we, we progressed nicely with our times. So we thought, oh, let's do something more. And I said to him, listen, I'm going to do the Ironman next year. Uh, I've done one previously and he said, wow, he hasn't done that, it's something he would like to do. So we did that, we did a very nice time, just under 13 hours. One of the special moments I remember was in the Ironman, we've already been like eight hours into the race, we're running the marathon. And I'm saying to Ayn, Ayn, the sun is setting now. And Ayn look, looks at me and he says, hey, this is my territory, I'm taking the lead now. So that was quite a special moment just to lift the spirits and, and get us going again. Ayn's got this motto of, of saying, I'm blind, what's your excuse? And I think that goes towards a lot of people. What is your excuse? Why don't you participate? There's a number of lessons I've learned in the last 42 years, but two that just jumps out at me is um, to appreciate what you've got. I always say to people that the things we take for granted, someone else is praying for. I guess the second biggest lesson I've learned in my life is if you give, just a little bit of what you've got, you will get more than you can ever, ever imagine. Hein is living proof that anything truly is possible. He doesn't allow his blindness to stand in the way of his dreams, and it's no wonder people often refer to him as a blind man with exceptional vision.